Have you ever wondered if dating someone who is separated is right for you? People often wonder about dating someone who is separated. Some won't do it. Some don't have an issue with it. Tune in with Maria Romano on how she unfolds thoughts on dating someone that is separated. Hi, everybody. Hello, it's Maria Romano. And I just need to get on to Instagram so we can go live on this. Let's see. Okay, it's it's Monday night, and let me get a little light on going here for this. See how everybody's doing. Did everybody have a great, great weekend? I hope. I'm charging up my phone, trying to get ready. So let's see. Last week, I talked about the multi-generations that are in the dating world. And how many of you had dated somebody younger or older? I'd love to hear your stories, huh? I'd love to hear your stories about that. So tonight from Las Vegas, we're going to talk about relationships. I want to talk to you tonight and bring up the conversation because I see this myself on dating apps, but I also spoken to clients where they come across a great profile and it says separating not widowed, not divorced, separated. So, and I know people that have been dating, I will say that, that, um, yeah, that they are separated themselves going through a divorce, but how do you feel? So I took a poll on that. I took a poll on that and I asked several people on Facebook and, and a lot of people said, no, let me just have some of my tea. I just got back from a networking event. So I wonder if you've been dated anybody that's separated and how it worked out for you. Now, from my perspective, and this again is my perspective, coaching somebody, when you're dating somebody that's separated, I think it just depends upon the circumstances. Although I pass up a profile if somebody is separated, period. Now, you might feel that a profile is worth it. So you're going to reach out and you're going to pursue a conversation and maybe go on a date. And I, I think, again, it depends upon the circumstances, because what if the person that you're dating has children still at home? And they're, and are they at what stages? What stages of the separation process? Is it a stage where they're going through a divorce and they're just waiting for the judge to sign it? Or are they going through what they call uh, forensics in accounting? Maybe they're evaluating businesses, property because they've been together for a while. That can occur as well. And that does take time. As a matter of fact, I dated a gentleman uh, last year before COVID and he was married for 28 years and he waited until he was finally divorced. And I was the first person he went out with. And he, you know, he, he lived with his ex-wife up until the time that he signed the divorce degree. And then he, when she finally left the house, then he got, he got he started to date, which I give somebody a lot of credit doing that. He didn't go out and date before him. Now, that says a lot about a person. But, but and there are people that are legitimately uh, separated and moving through with the divorce, especially now with COVID. Some people don't have the money. But how do you feel about dating somebody that is separated? I, you know, for uh, what I recommend with clients, I know it's, it's something that's very individual and each situation is different. But if there are kids involved and you have extended family, sometimes it's best to not date when you're separated. It kind of muddies the waters. I mean, unless you're on the last leg where you're just waiting for the d- divorce degree to be final. But if you're still in the stages where you're evaluating the uh, assets that they have and you're still trying to figure out custody and you're still trying to work through it, my, my recommendation, my advice is, you know what? 
that person's got to be really special if you want to pursue that relationship. It's like dating somebody out of the shoot. I was just telling you about the gentleman I dated that I was the first person he dated out of the shoot. Okay. Could have wound up being a great relationship, but maybe not. The point is you need to get out there and date again, especially somebody that is separated, somebody that's getting back into the dating world. It's great if you meet that next person right away, but you know what? You need to experience different people. And I say this, and I mean this, you need to figure out what's going to work for you and what isn't. So if you are going out with somebody that's separated and it's working for you, I say kudos to you. You're a bigger person than most people. Most people, there still would be a little bit of a jealousy, a little bit of a hesitancy, and you're concerned about the commitment. And if somebody really is interested in you, they'll take themselves off the dating site. Okay. And they'll say, listen, I'm going through my divorce. I'm just waiting for papers. I'm very interested in pursuing a relationship with you. And they're upfront and honest. If they're still going to stay on the dating sites, uh, you know, I think that that's a question you have to really soul search. And, and that's what happens. Sometimes people feel that, well, if we get into it right away, maybe they're going to like me. That's not always the case. Uh, the intimacy sometimes muddies up the waters and it can. So if you're out there and you're on a dating site and you're separated, good luck to you. I, I don't think you're going to get that many people interested or, or the right people, or maybe somebody that's real quality. I would say date, a rec I would wait for a while. That's just my recommendation. And if you're dating somebody that is separated, as long as you feel comfortable in that relationship and you feel like you're, you, this is something for you and you can, you, they're going to move forward. That's great. That's great. But you know, it's kind of the same analogy of when you're dating somebody that's still living with their spouse. And they always tell you, they tell you that they're going to get a divorce, right? We, we've all know people that have been in those circumstances. And then guess what? They never get the divorce. So if you're getting out there in the dating world, my recommendation is date somebody that's not committed to someone else. Date somebody that doesn't have any loose strings that need to be tied up. You want to date somebody where they don't have that rain cloud hanging over their head. And sometimes their behavior is also um, watched by maybe the other partner. So you don't want to get caught into that tank. Sometimes it's just a little too much drama. So for those people dating, date someone that's divorced, somebody that's never been married, right? Somebody that's a widower, or widower. There are so many people. There are 7 billion people on the planet. So you don't need to, to, to date anybody that's still has a lot of loose ends to tie up. And those people that have a lot of loose ends to tie up, why are you putting yourself on the dating sites now? Wait, just wait. When you do, you'll then have higher value people that will reach out to you. Okay, so that's something else too. And also, I just want to plug my new officiant course. I'll be launching it just the beginning of August. So if anybody's interested, I have three webinars that I'm hosting, going behind the scenes of how to officiate a wedding ceremony. And if you feel this is something you might be interested in, or you, you really, you like working with people, you want to impact other people's lives, then you know what? Sign up. You've got nothing to lose. And I'll take you behind the scenes. And then maybe my course might be for you. I'm only going to be teaching this for the first three weeks in August for this year. And then I'm not going to probably launch it again for a few months. So, and it's, you don't have to be here in Las Vegas to do this. But in the meantime, I have a question for you. Are you dating somebody that's separated? And if you are, I want to know how you feel. Are you comfortable in that relationship? So remember to email me and I'll be back again next week. Um, if there's any topics you'd like me to address, email me again, maria at truelovenots.com. I want to see and hear about your dating life. And if there's any way I can help you, because my passion and purpose is to see you go from being a just one to a plus one. So in the meantime, 
stay healthy, stay happy, say, stay safe, and remember to spread love. Have a nice evening, everyone. Bye.